that's my type. That's my type, nigga, that's my type. God, whose phone? <sighs> Hello, guys. So, please excuse my bare face. I'm gonna do something a little different with you guys today. Um, I'm gonna be taking a bath and doing like a little story time with you guys. So I know it's really different. I'm just really fucking pregnant and tired and I want to relax while I talk to you guys. This is what we're dealing with. Um, this is me Monday through like every other day of the week. I don't fucking get ready for shit. I'm gonna jump in there with my bathing suit because um, obviously I don't want y'all to see me naked. Okay. So let's just see. This one is called Let's Get Naked, and honestly, it smells bomb. I think I'm going to use this one right off the back. This lavender one is called Lavender. And this other one is called... It looks like lavender, but it's like cactus lavender. I don't know what the fuck that means, but it's like purple and green. Um, I have this uh, Horizon Blava. Mm, that one smells good too. This one is Soothing Detox. This one is... I don't know. That's the same as the other one. Mm, this one smells really good too. But I think I'm going to go with this one. With the Let's Get Naked. Even though we're not going to get naked today, guys. Sorry. So, let me show y'all. The water, I usually like to get it above the jets. I might not even turn the jets on though because I don't want it to interfere with our video. So while that gets filled up, I'm gonna put on a mask on my face. Oops, sorry guys. Let's fix that real quick. I'm gonna put a mask on my face so I can just like really relax and like get the most benefit out of everything. So, um, I picked these up at Sally's. They're like patches under your eyes. I've always struggled with dark circles, so the instructions say to just put it under your eyes. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm feeling it. It's going right under my eye. Okay. There goes one. I look kind of retarded, but it's okay. And other one. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it doesn't even look dark. I guess it gets dark like whenever it hits oxygen. I don't know, let's see. Okay, so this is just the way I like to apply my, my masks. Um, I feel like everyone, oh, it smells delicious. I feel like everyone is different. And I got this one at Sally's as well. And I hope it doesn't get like really hard because I'm gonna be pissed off if it does. I hate those. I hate the ones that get really hard, but it did say mud mask so maybe it will get hard but we will see sorry I'm using my mirror over here on my check the water okay, I think the water is good for now until we throw the bath bomb in there so let's do that Okay, so this is my daughter's robe. We're gonna be extra fancy today, okay? So let's see. I'm just putting on this mask all over wherever I have open skin. And you know, a bitch got a big ass forehead, so you like gotta save it extra for that. You know what? Luckily, even though I have a big forehead, luckily, I have never, ever, like, broke out on my forehead other than whenever I was in, like, sixth grade. I remember I broke out for, like, a good, um, like, a good amount of time, and I was depressed as fuck because I'm like, why do I look like a mountain? So, I'm just going to put that all over, and... Oh my god, it makes me cringe whenever I have, still have some on like my hair. Oh my god, and I forgot to get my like, I always get this area right here. This area is really important, guys. Even though you can hardly see it, always get that area. Okay, so this is what your girl is looking like right now. Okay, I'm in my bathing suit. I'm looking a little pregnant as fuck. 
Um, let's get this bath bomb in there, yeah guys? funny who made me this funny i don't know okay so i'm just gonna turn on like this cute little like light to set the mood or whatever so, okay time to get in there guys and it looks so fucking refreshing in there like my bathing suit is also so cute a lo mejor me baño con esta cubeta you know mexican style I'm gonna close this door. Oh, let me look at my little booty. Okay. So this is what the water is looking like. Um, I want to turn on the jet. Let's just see how it looks. Okay, we definitely need more water. Because that's not supposed to happen, guys. Water, 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 water. But like, for me being like really pregnant, my little butt still looks kind of cute. I just look a little pregnant. Okay, I'm gonna try to get my thing set up. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, and I'll turn the jet on and everything for you guys. Okay, let's let's see. Like, it should be good to go now. Let's see. Y'all see, like, it should be underwater where that's happening, not above water. It's happening. There we go. That's what it's supposed to do, guys. Awesome. All right. All right. We're ready. Oh, it feels great, too. Okay. I have my little towel here with my phone and a little water because a bitch can't drink wine. Okay. It is fucking hot. It's like boiling hot. Oh hell no. Oh my god. There's some cold water in here. Guys, it's too hot. I cannot. So my face is looking uh fucking I need to just like do it. Like I just need to get in here. Okay. My face is getting hard by the minute. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Ah. It's not that bad. Okay. Let me fix my camera. So guys, I'm I look fucking scary. <laughs> I was supposed to be doing a story time with you guys today. Um, let me turn that off. I think it's good now. We're good, Betty. So today I'm going to be doing a little story time. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I wanted to turn my jets on. I'm going to show you guys. But it makes really loud noise. So I decided we're just going to not turn it on. Look, let me show you guys. Yeah, I think that's kind of loud. It feels so relaxing, to be honest. But, um, let let me just test run and see. Oh, my phone recognized my face. What a miracle. Okay. So, I want to talk to you guys about a lot of different things. Hello there, Becky. That's too loud and obnoxious. Let's turn that off. So, I want to talk to you guys about a lot of different things. I have posted on my Instagram. If you're not following me already on Instagram, I'm going to make sure you go follow me on Instagram. Um, I do giveaways and things like that all the time on my Instagram. I feel like even this video alone, like me just setting this up 
took me like fucking 10 minutes and I recorded everything so I'm probably gonna cut off a lot of shit and I talk too much like I fucking talk too much I don't want my camera to die so let me dive right in let me get comfortable over here I hope you guys don't mind I look like a fucking payaso but honestly guys I just live for this like <sighs> this feels so relaxing and I wish I could have a cup of wine which my doctor's a glass of wine, sorry. My doctor did say I could drink a glass of wine like during dinner, but I haven't had a dinner, so I don't wanna like drink wine on an empty stomach. I just feel like I'm gonna like get my baby drunk or something, you know? So let's just jump right into the video. Feel like there's a lot of girls that are teen parents as of right now. And every year it grows more and more the population grows as to how many teen parents there are and it's not fair to a lot of girls like when you're a teen mom um, eight out of ten times you're doing that shit by yourself I don't care if the dad was there when you delivered I don't care eight out of ten you are alone in everything from dealing with your body like my let's talk about that that was my biggest challenge was not being able to enjoy my teen body um i would say that i never as a young girl i never had boobs i never had like an ass or anything so i never knew what it was like to actually like have that but i do recall that after i had my baby my body was ruined my boobs had got really big and then they shrunk. So I had hella stretch marks on my boobs. My stomach had hella stretch marks. My ass was just not, you know, a little girl ass anymore, if that makes sense. It was hard, it was very, very hard, but overall, I feel like I overcame so many challenges and I've been through hell and back to be where I'm at today. And I'm gonna teach you guys my little tips and tricks of how I made it and um, everyone has a different situation I feel like so this cannot obviously apply to everyone but for the most part a lot of these little things that I did as a teen mom did help me a lot in the long run and the most important one I would say would be my credit like I from day one the day that I got something out with my name and my social and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be responsible, I need to pay this off, I need to be an adult. And when you have something on your credit, you need to treat it as, that's your name, like you're putting your name on the line. Obviously, if you fuck it off, like that's your name that's being fucked. So, don't risk your credit score, guys. Please take care of your credit score. Don't let your boyfriend or your girlfriend get things under your name that you know that they're gonna tell you, oh, I'll pay, I'll pay for it, da, da, da. and then at the end, you end up with that bill. Don't do that to yourself. Like, you're gonna end up fucked. Um, that was one of my biggest things as a teenager. Like, no one even thought about credit. Everyone was like, bitch, we're in high school. Like, who gives a fuck about your credit? Like, you're still in this bitch. <laughs> So to me, it was just like really important. I just always cherished my credit. I always cherished like my background, like my, I didn't ever have any like tickets or if I had like a speeding ticket or something, I would go take care of it that very next day. Like I just was that responsible person. And it's hard because a lot of people can't um, or don't have the sources to be that responsible. You know, I've always had a car since I was 15. Um, I've always been able to pay my own bills and you know take care of myself and a lot of people can't do that so I know a lot of people's um, uh, background like their criminal record got fucked off because you know a lot of times your parents can't take you or you don't have the money to do it or whatever the reason may be so that was another tip for me like I always encourage everyone please take care of your record like it's really important even your your um credit history is really 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 important and a lot of you don't care about that at a young age i understand like who's thinking about that but it's really important towards your future if you want to build an open relationship with other important people i moved out of my parents house after i had my baby no 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 before i had my baby so i was pregnant um long story short i was staying with my baby daddy that's another fucking story oh my god 
but I was staying with Anaïs' dad and their family opened their door to me with open arms. I think I was able to manage being there like one or two months and then I couldn't take it anymore. Like it was just constant, like him never being home, me always having to like stay home and be bored all day. It was just like not what I wanted for my pregnancy. So I decided to move out. And I think me moving out was the best thing I could have done for myself and my my baby. Because if not, I would have still been trying to make things work with him, which at the time me and him weren't even together. So we had already decided we weren't, we were just gonna co-parent and try to, you know, do what's best for our daughter. And it just didn't work out, guys. It just didn't work out. Um, a lot of struggles happened along the way. He cheated on me. Um, as soon as I moved out of his house, he moved in another girl. So I found out about that. Obviously, I was angry. I waited until after I had my daughter to go beat the bitch up, which I shouldn't have beat her up, but she disrespected me over the whole situation. She was just like, she went to my high school, so I would see her and she would like laugh at me and shit while I was pregnant. So like in my head, I'm like, nah, bitch, I'm gonna fuck you up after this. Just wait. And I did. And I showed it. That's a story time part another day. <laughs> And that story time was so funny because we set her up so nasty. Not my baby daddy, but I had another homeboy who she was talking to. And we set that bitch up and it was a wrap. <laughs> um, but I was young, guys. I don't encourage anyone to fight, obviously. But if someone puts their hands on you or your family, you fuck them up, sis. You fuck them up. So, where was I? So, I moved out of their house. Shortly after being pregnant for a couple of months, I just couldn't do it. I went back to my parents' house. Me and my dad had the worst relationship. Obviously, he hated the fact that I was pregnant. Like, my dad, I love my dad to death. Like, he has changed so much, guys. If y'all knew my dad back then and you know him now, like, total transformation. <laughs> and they say grandchildren do that to you. But he has changed so much and i just love him for the person that he is honestly at the time i was working i was 14 still so i wasn't working i didn't have a job but i would do piercings so i would pierce all the girls at my school i would charge them ten dollars and they had to bring their own ring that they wanted me to use so like if you wanted your belly button pierced it was ten dollars i would do it in the restroom oh my god um and um, you would have to just pay me $10 and bring your own ring. So I'm not even going to lie. I probably did like, <sighs> fuck, maybe at least 200 people. Because I remember walking out of middle school. Middle school. I was in middle school. It was like middle school, summer, middle school. Um, I walked out of middle school with $2,000 saved up. I just saved it all up. My parents really wouldn't give me like lunch money and stuff. We wouldn't really like have money. I think at the time I would have like free lunch or some shit. Like give me like money at all. So I never had to ask them for money. But they never knew I had money either. Because you know I was saving up everything I was making from piercings. So I went into high school. And I think that summer I wrecked up another like band. Because I went into high school with $3,000 to my name. And at this time, I'm 14 years old, going into high school, and I was still pregnant. So I was walking into ninth grade with $3,000 to my name. And that time um, that I was pregnant, I think I made another thousand maybe. Because I remember like being 15, turning 15 on my birthday, and I had $5,000 to my name. So I walked in with three bands and then I ended up like, like if you think about it, that's not even a lot because a lot of us, we make that in a, like a random average person who works 40 hours a week. You can make that in a month if you wanted to. So I'm talking about like I was in school already for months. I was already going to be a freaking sophomore and I had $5,000 because eight, my birthday is in April. So the year was already going to be over. So I did have money. Um, I remember my parents offered to get me a car when i was 15 and i told my mom um if she could please get it and i would pay her back and i did um she did i didn't want her to be like this bitch has money you know so she did end up getting me a little thousand dollar honda i had a little thousand dollar honda so i used to roll with me in the honda was it 
Um, and I remember like at this time I was single. I already had my daughter. She was a couple of months old already. She was born in December of that uh, 2010 and I turned 15 on 2011. And that's when I got my car. So she was riding around with me. I remember we would go chill with my homegirl. Like I was everywhere. I was never home. And then finally, whenever I was able to get it at 15, I was also, I forgot to tell you, I was also doing people's hair. I was in love with cosmetology. Like I wanted to be a cosmetologist so bad. And um, <laughs> I enrolled into the school program at my school they offer that program so i enrolled in that real quick i'm like hell yeah i'm gonna get this education and that school like course was like 500 something dollars and i remember paying for it myself i was like you know what i'm gonna do this because i know my mom's not gonna be able to like afford to pay for this and i really want my license like i really want to do this and so i did guys and I got my license. I finished high school and I had my cosmetology license. So at this point, I was doing hair, I was doing piercings, and I had uh, my first official job the day I turned. The day I turned 16, guys. So now we're in 2012. I turned 16 years old. My baby daddy and me are completely like done. Like he's like MIA. He does his own thing. He's in his own world. Um, one thing I can say though is his family has always been super super supportive of me um and his mom actually allowed me to finish high school she's the one who would babysit for me when i went to high school so i never had to worry about paying for a babysitter and stuff i know a lot of people have it a little bit more difficult so not a lot of people have that you know that little extra um help and they've always been so nice to me and I will always appreciate her for that like that right there means the world to me because I was able to finish high school I was able to work I would literally go to school for like half of the day because um in high school I had like finished my credits early so I was able to get off early and go to work and I did work at Jack in the Box that was my first job on my birthday April 2nd of 2012 I got my first job at Jack in the Box and when I worked at Jack in the Box, I met so many awesome people like in the drive through at the restaurant. Like I just built so many relationships and I'm always that type of person. Like I love building relationships with people because you never know like when you guys can benefit off of each other. And I'm not saying it in a like, oh my God, you guys see how red my ears are? Like it's hot in this bitch. So I worked at Jack and then I quit Jack soon after because it was so unfair, guys. I was getting paid $7.50. Or 750 or 725. I was getting paid 725 or 750. I cannot remember, but it was minimum wage in 2012, whatever that was. That's what I was getting paid. And I would work like 30 hours a week and I would dead ass bust my ass. Like the Jack in the Box that I worked at, a lot of homeless people would go there and like shower in the restroom. So I would always have to clean up after them and stuff. And I just felt like I'm worth so much more than this. So, um, I got a job at Fiesta thanks to my mom. Shout out to my mom. My mom's actually manager at Fiesta, so she was like, I got you. Come, come over here. You're 16 now, you know? And she always got my, she was like, with my older brother and sister, she always got them their first job. Like, she got them their first job there. And I didn't want to do that. Like, I wanted to be so independent and do my own thing. So I got a fucking job at Dragon Box. And that sucked ass. Like, I hated working there. So, when my mom told me she could hire me at Fiesta, like, that same day, I was like, you know what? I'm putting my two-week notice to my manager at Dragon Box. And I told her I'm going to Fiesta. My mom's going to get me a job there. And homegirl was so mad. She's like, you know what? You could go home. You don't have to do your two weeks. You can start at Fiesta tomorrow. So, I was like, bitch, bitch, bye. I was trying to be, you know, because, like I said, I was trying to be responsible. A lot of people would be quick to just quit and be like you know what fuck this job like i don't need to do this but not me like i really wanted to be you know responsible and have that like just in case what if one day i ever needed to go back to jack in the box type of vibe you know which i can never have to go back thank god but i don't know i just i'm gonna move my camera over here i just feel like it'll be like a lot better for all of us Oh, Hello. Ooh. we're just chilling. You're my homegirl and you're here chilling with me. And um, 
So then when I started working at Fiesta, I worked at Fiesta for about a year maybe. Um, I was getting paid $7.75 there. I was a cashier. Um, I started off as a sacker. If you don't know what a sacker is, it's the fucking people who sack your groceries. And my mom started me as that because she said I would make more money if I was a sacker for a month and then if I upgraded to a cashier. So they would like pay me more if I did that. So I did do that and I ended up making $7.75 an hour at Fiesta. So I was still doing the same schedule at school. I would go half day. I was trying to finish my cosmetology program at school. And then I would go to um, um, work after. And I would get off work till like 11. Like I was working from like 3 to 11, 3, 4 days out of the week. So I was, you know, trying to make all my hours and um, at least 30 hours I was trying to get in. And then um, finally, um, I decided I didn't want to work at Fiesta. Like the managers there were so shitty. They just hated me because like my mom was above them. So they were like, oh, you know, she thinks she like can just come because she's the daughter of the main manager. Like, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. I don't know. But people were so shitty there. I hated working there. Like, I just know when I'm not happy, I need to, like, I'm that type of person. If I know I don't want something, I'm going to go. Like, I'm not going to sit here and wait around for it to get better. Like, I'm going to get to step in, you know? I ended up getting a job at Hair Pop. If you guys don't know what Hair Pop is, it's at the mall. It's this place where they sell fucking extensions and hair. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go for cosmetology. So this is awesome. This is great. You know, this is exactly what I need to do. So forward to a month later, I hated working there. I was getting paid $8 an hour there. So each time I was upgrading a little bit, you know, I was going up on how much I was making. And I was, how old was I? I think I was six. 17. I think I was 17 because I was at Fiesta for a year. I was at Jack in the Box for three months at Fiesta for a year. So I was 17. I had to be 17. So then I decided, you know what? I don't want to do this. Um, there was this guy that worked in front of our store, the hair pup store. He was always, always trying to make me do a fucking survey. You know those people that ask you to do a fucking survey with them? Bitch. Well, this nigga was so like good at his job. I would always see him pull people and he would tell me I make money from all the people that I pull. So I'm like, hmm, I'm good at talking to people. Well, this nigga's like cool as fuck. He knows how to talk to people too. Like I wouldn't mind working there. So he's like, you know what? My sister's the manager. Come on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, introduce you to her and get you an interview. So bitch, I was like, fuck hair pop. You know, there was a time I was doing hair pop. I was doing both because I was part-time at hair pop. So I'm like, let me see if I can manage. It was the summer of me going into my senior year. So I was um, ready to work full time that summer. So I was like, you know what? I can manage both of these jobs. So right off the back, um, Hair Pop wasn't having it. Like they were like, you know what? You could just go work over there. It doesn't look good for you to be over here and over there. Um, so it's just kind of a mutual feeling. We just kind of let each other go, you know, how I did with Jack and with Fiesta. Obviously, I put my two weeks. I did everything right with every job that I had. So then I went over there. They started paying me off. I think they started paying me $8.25 the hour. So obviously, I got a $25 raise within a month because <laughs> I went from hair pop $8 to $8.25. And then also, I would get commission on all the surveys I would complete all the people I would get in and if I would interview them and stuff I would get commission off of that so um there at that job guys at the survey place the manager which me and her have the best relationship till this day I love her to death she is like my big sister like I honestly give her so much props for everything like for a lot of things that happened in my life there were things to her she helped me build a badass resume Resumes are so important for your future. She helped me build a badass resume. She taught me all about Word. She taught me all about computers, like just softwares, how to install this, how to uninstall that. Like she was just like, you know, and she was hard on me. She was a bitch. She was fucking mean. Like I tell you now, you know how many people I got a job there? Probably if you're watching this, you 
had a job there because of me before and you know who I'm talking about like you know how she is she's mean but it's a good mean it's like this is I'm your manager I'm not your fucking friend mean and I honestly live off of that like till this day how I manage people in my work is exactly how she would manage me she taught me so much like she was just hard like it wasn't no, okay, we could play when we play, but when it's time to work, it's time to fucking work. That's the vibe that she was, you know? I learned so much from her, guys. She helped me build a resume. Um, my sister at the time, she was going to school for a medical assistant. So um, at home, when I would get a chance, I would read all her books. All of her books of becoming a medical assistant. And... Um, I ended up going uh, to an interview, which I didn't want to leave, but I, at this point, I was already at the survey place. Um, I was already graduated. It was the summer after I had graduated, so at this point, I had obviously already got a raise. I think I was making like nine fifty or ten. I was making decent money there. Like I'm not even for a fucking seventeen. I was eighteen already. I think I was making good money, and I had already. And I was still. Let's keep in mind, I'm still doing piercings, and I'm still doing. Hair. Let me just do the math, okay? So, and also keep in mind, guys, the only thing that I was paying for at this point was for my gas, my phone bill, my my insurance on my car, and food. That's it. Oh, and I would pay my mom two hundred dollars a month to live at her house. Okay. So let's just say, okay, I took out my calculator. Let's say I was making nine point fifty. Okay, 950. Um, I was working full time um, because I had already graduated. I think I wasn't working full time. Let's just say I was working 30 hours a week. Okay, so 950 times 30. So I was making 285 every week times four. I was making 1,140 a month. Okay, this doesn't include my people when I would do their hair or their piercings or anything else. Okay, so that times 12 because there's 12 months in a year right um that year i think i made this much and i still had so let's include the 5,000 i had from when i was 16. i did end up paying my mom back i paid her back with um work money though so um whenever i was 18 i had got 13 bands for my job if i was working 30 hours which i think i was working 40. I, I can't remember, but I think I was working 40. And then I still had those five bands saved up. Like, I had always had that money saved up. Um, I came up off of some investments that I did. And I remember that year I had maxed out. I had made, like, three bands, okay? So, off of this little investment that I did. Okay, so I'm at $21,000. I'm 18 already. I'm trying to get the fuck out of my parents' house. I tell my mom, I'm like, hey. Listen, I need y'all's help. I don't have credit. Obviously, I had just turned 18. I didn't have anything under my name yet. I saved up. Honestly, like, let me be real with y'all. I have saved up that much money. I wanted my boobs done. I had always told myself, I'm going to get my boobs done when I turn 18. But then, something just snapped. And I said, is that my fucking priority right now? I need to get the fuck out of my parents' house. I'm not going to be, you know, 18-year-old with a kid living at their parents' house. So... I don't know if y'all have seen my video on um, on Instagram, but dead ass, I have evidence. So in 2015, guys, 2015, I had, see, March 23rd, 2015, these are all my pictures from like back in the day. I have them in a USB. And I dead ass, 2015, I was 18 years old. I had $20,000 in my account. You cannot fucking tell me that from 16, to 18 you cannot save this up like you can't and on top of that i was paying my mom to live at her house i was paying my own gas and i'm showing this to motivate y'all but literally within a year i was already living in my house i was paying all the bills i was taking care of my daughter by myself like i said her dad has never in his life helped me with anything so at this point i'm 19 i wasted those 20 bands on a house and in 2016, literally, a year later, I'm back into my savings account. I'm back in my bag because I know how to save and I know how to invest and I know how to be smart with my money. Like, if I can do it, you can do it. 
Quit spending money on shit you don't need. Don't buy that designer bag. Don't buy that designer belt. Don't fucking spend money on food. If you could cook at home, cook at home. Let me just tell y'all, because I did tell y'all that I was paying bills. Okay, so in this, I didn't include what I was making off of piercings and off of hair. Whatever I was making off of piercings and hair, that's what I would use to pay my bills. That's what I would use to pay my gas. That's what I would use to pay my food, to pay for my daughter's anything that my daughter needed. Just that money was like, all right, this is bill money. This is what I'm going to spend. So whatever I was working, that's what I was making, okay? So at this point... We're looking for a house, okay? I'm looking for a house. My parents were nice enough to be like, you know what, we're gonna help you. So what we decided to do was my parents were um, gonna agree on, they were gonna get a new house because the house that we currently had, we only owed like $20,000 on the house. So my parents decided, you know what, how about we get a new house and you pretty much pay our mortgage in the new house and you put your 20 bands down on this house so this house is paid for so i was like you know what i'm 18 i'm gonna have my own house um obviously i wanted it to be under my name so we did do a little bit of arranging there when they got their new house i asked them if they can put my name like under it so it would help my credit and obviously i was gonna be the one paying for it so you know which years later like it just worked out so well for all of us we're no longer in those houses which is awesome but we still rent the, the house out so it's like it just worked out for everyone you know we're making money on top of money on top of money so um i ended up having my own house at 18 and thanks to my i can't even deny like if it wasn't for my parents help and support i wouldn't have been able to do it but they saw how responsible i was which this comes into play you're ruining my video Hi. Which that is why did you hear everything I was saying? Because I forgot. No, you put it in first. Oh. Yeah. Was it clean or not? Yeah, I feel so soft. Can My boyfriend just worked in this. No, it's too much. You wanna get in here with me? No. Give me one. So what I was telling you guys, so obviously without my parents like support and their help, I wouldn't have been able to get my own house, you know? And then I think um i had that house for so since that was eight october of 2015. i had got ew babe you could have just fed it to me i like it just feel I'm nasty it october of 2015 that's when i had officially moved into the house so i lived in that house for one two 18 19 20 21 for three years my nails are fucking ugly, don't look at them. For three years I lived there, of course, I had got a better job, guys. I forgot to tell y'all. My manager helped me make a badass resume. I got into the medical field. The doctor I was working with got me CP, CPR certified. She got me an ME certificate like, under her title. Like, I was just like on my grind, like I was grinding, I was working. I was making there with that doctor $12 an hour self track so I worked for the doctor I was there for a good minute because I got into the funeral business at 20 so I was there for maybe two years yeah I was like my late 20 like I was already it was like July so maybe not okay well anyways I worked at the clinic for a while I loved working there I love being with patients and checking their vitals but $12 an hour wasn't cutting it for me I was still doing hair, I was still doing piercings at this point when I was 18, as soon as I turned 18 I was able to invest in stocks which I did, which I recommend to all of you at first I was doing it like small and then I decided to like take the risk and just like go big and it's, it's tricky with stocks guys Like that's a video I have to really like talk to you guys about and give y'all examples and show y'all but you could either win or lose so every time i would see that i was winning i'd be like all right take it out take it out so i'll take my money so i would make sure that i wouldn't lose and then finally with mm, within i would say 
And I still wasted all my 20 bags. Remember I told you? So by the time I was already moved into my house, that first year I saved up $10,000. This was for me just grinding. Like guys, it's because here's the thing. Like we could all be on the same page. You could be making $750 at first, then you could be making $12 now. Like that doesn't matter. What, how you manage your money is what fucking matters. And this video is just to simply give you guys a story time of how I was able to achieve all of this. This isn't really like me telling you, hey, do this and do that. Because obviously what works for me isn't always going to work for everyone. But it's just little like, look, if you manage your money right, if you're a responsible person, if you fucking think with your head and not your fucking ass, you're going to get far in life. So the funeral business was funny because who got me in the funeral business was um, one of the guys who worked at the clinic. He did payroll for the company and he loved my work ethic. Like he would see how hard I would work. He knew I deserved more than $12 an hour. So he told me, he said, look, I'm gonna take you with me to the other funeral home. Fuck this clinic. I know you, you know, you're doing something here. You, you're getting your, cause I was getting like a search. Like I was really like trying to go to school for nursing to be a surgeon. So it's obviously their step to becoming a fucking surgeon. You gotta go through all that shit. And he's like, let me help you make money. I was like, cool, like let's just see what happens. You know, I've never I've never even been to a, at this point I hadn't even ever been to a funeral guys. I think I had gone to one funeral, my friend, whenever we were younger. Okay. Within that month, it it came off of commissions too. Like if I would sell a casket, he would break me off. If I would upgrade a funeral, he would break me off. Like, he was always breaking me off. So, I was racking good money. Like, I was making good money. Like, I was getting my $15 an hour, which I was working 40 hours a week. And, on top of that, I was making commission off of sales and off of caskets. And, like, I'm just a salesperson. I can sell. Like, not everyone can do that. Like, it's not for everyone. So... I think by the time, I don't want to like say too much, but I had money saved up. I had a lot of money saved up. I let a lot of people borrow money like a dumbass. Don't ever do that. Unless it's your family and you're doing it for a good motive, like your family, like immediate family, like brother, sister, dad, mom. Other than that, don't do it. I ended up getting fucked off by a friend that was really close to me. And I was just heartbroken, like, I was like, wow, like. Anyways, um, I did end up lending my dad some money as well. So I was like, in a state of mind, like, I let the money go, it's gonna come back to me. And that's what I was doing like with the stocks too. I let the money go, it's gonna come back. It's always gonna come back. I had that positivity that it was always gonna come back. So, one day, everyone at the funeral home decided to walk out, except for me. And my loyalty paid a big fucking price. I was like, you know what? I got some money. I want to invest in this business. Like, I want in on this business. I want in on what the fuck. Everything. And we were able to open a new funeral home. We got staff. And that's where we're at now. I moved into this house. This is my new house. Whenever I turned 22. So literally, last year in November, I'm 23 now, in case y'all didn't know. Last year in October, we moved into this house. It's now July. Um, this house was gonna be our temporary house. We wanted to build a house. But now, a lot of you know, I'm fucking pregnant. So I think we're gonna stay here for a little bit. And wait a little bit to build our house. We just don't want that extra stress. So right now I'm really caught up in work and like I'm just a busy person overall. My daughter takes up a lot of my time. 
taking her here and then taking her to tutoring and it was a lot. So I guess the moral of the story is let me eat the last bit of hair. Being responsible will get you really really far. I have saved up so much money and I'm like how do people not save up their money like it doesn't make sense to me. And I'm no one special. I didn't do anything fucking amazing. Being responsible, being on my shit, being a young adult that knew what she wanted, got me here. So I guess the moral of the story is, guys, be smart, save your money, <laughs> invest, uh, excuse me. And overall, I want to like do a more brief video like i just want to sit down and chit chat with you guys today but i am going to do a more in-depth video explaining you know how i built my resume if you guys need help with any of that how i did my resume my what i would say during my interviews how i got these jobs how i was lucky enough to meet these people like i want to give you guys tips and tricks about all that so if that's something y'all are interested in please let me know this shit is bothering me i'm gonna wash my face off and um if you haven't already seen my new house, I have a video on it here on YouTube so you guys can go check it out. A lot of people always ask me if they can have a house tour and it is on my channel guys so feel free to watch that. And I'm gonna just take a quick little shower like um, baths are cool and all but after this I just need to take a shower like do y'all be feeling like that? I don't know. It's still really relaxing in here. I'm just like ready to get out like I've been in here for a minute now. Look at my ears, they're fucking red like this water is hot like I'm sweating bitch or maybe that's water I don't know but um yeah guys thank you for joining me today and I'm sorry that I talked so much and I'm sorry if this video was boring I just wanted to share that with you guys so you guys understood exactly where I was coming from and um ask me questions I can answer them I know my story was like all over the place so if I can answer any questions please let me know um, I'm very happy to do that and give you guys any inside tips as well on anything um, But mainly this house came to me with hard work and dedication and also my man had a lot You know me and him together were a power couple like together We just we know how to make money and we know how to save our money and we know how to you know do shit like be responsible and He's put me on a lot of game. I put him on a lot of game so maybe I'll do a video with him next because I know a lot of you want to meet him and um, I'm trying to convince him but thank you guys um, I love you all who support me and generally really fuck with me on a level of like damn I feel her I feel her hustle you know because it could happen for you in a year like time is gonna pass regardless so work hard now so you could chill later <laughs> All right, guys. Oh my God, I look fucking Chinese. Okay, that was racist. I'm not racist, guys, but thank you guys for watching. I really want to watch this shit off. I love you guys. Bye.